thank you very much tarindu that uh, great introduction uh, and i also consider this as a privilege because i also studied from uh, free education and this is a good opportunity that uh, i can uh, do some contributions to sri lanka uh, now in the today's session uh, i want to uh, take you through uh, some of the important aspects of uh, ai transformation uh, one of the special part of the digital transformation uh, in this presentation because of this is a mba course i uh, i thought mainly focusing the leadership strategy and transformation perspectives uh, related to this uh, ai transformation uh, first of all i would like to uh, give some uh, introduction about the australian red cross it's uh, it's the world largest humanitarian movement operating over 190 countries uh, we have seven fundamental principles uh, for serving humanity uh, they are humanity impartiality neutrality independence unity universality and volunteer service uh, together these uh, with these seven fundamental principles uh, uh, we create uh, one of the world largest humanitarian uh, volunteer service over 17 million volunteers and supporting governments and play a auxiliary role and we are also considered as uh, the guardian of the international humanitarian law in the geneva convention uh when uh, listen to this presentation i would like you to think uh, the australian red cross is uh, it's a not for profit org organization and something different uh, to uh, the way the private sector operate in this uh, domain uh, however uh, i would i think that you can find some similarities uh, related to your uh, corporate social responsibility kind of perspectives if you think in that way uh, it will make it easy to understand this presentation and it will play a key role you will identify in the later in this uh, presentation uh, this uh, how strategically important uh, to address uh, ai ethics uh, and governance in the journey of this uh, transformation what we are talking uh i am not uh, uh spend quite a lot of time for to introdu introduce this machine learning domain however uh, as a leader you need to identify uh, machine learning is the key enabler uh, when we talking about ai transformation uh, you uh, need to know some aspects related to uh, this uh, machine learning uh particularly uh, how these uh, algorithms are bias variance and compliance uh, with uh, some of the uh, legal uh, requirements uh when we are evolving this journey you will later face uh, how we are addressing ethics compliance and how we uh, manage the data uh now i believe uh, that while following this uh, mba course that you and this uh, subject area you want to bring your the data science and machine learning uh, capability to your business uh, now when in a in a time that we all talking about uh, data informed decision making uh, we need to see this machine learning and data initiatives as a core comp that required to be enhanced as a core competency of the business uh, in one hand uh, this create us uh, opportunities to business optimization and in another hand uh, way that we it help us to uh, value creation now i will explain one particular aspects of the uh, this transformation when we justifying this to business uh, so let's say you are going into the and writing a, a business proposal the one way you can look in this ai transformation in business is creating a customer value all our businesses that we know uh, develop around the customer it's a customer centric uh, approach uh this data science and ai strategy enable us to look our uh, customers with a unique value proposition uh, and understanding uh, their requirements in a unique way uh, i 
perhaps you already uh, go through uh, red ocean and blue ocean strategy when it come to uh, business uh, development uh, but as a color indicate what does that mean is uh, like red ocean is a shallow water and the blue ocean is a deep water in the shallow water there are a lot of competition everyone can go into shallow water and fishing uh, but in deep uh, ocean there's a less competition a lot of resources we have a lot of opportunities now what data create us is that it enable us to go into blue ocean strategy and look create a lot of opportunities we can move our business from uh, regular competition and create a unique customer value uh, pro proposition based on the data what we have this data is unique to us that they, the data what we are talking is not having any other any other organization so that's the advantage we will get in this uh, AI and data transformation in uh, when we, in a business. Now, everyone need a, a journey that development if we want to achieve this AI transformation. Different uh, organizations are in different uh, uh, state uh, when talking this journey. Uh, you need to think data as a raw material. As a raw material, that we, the, the value is quite less. But what we want is to uh, create value and we need to some understanding the patterns uh, and insights in the data and we need to transform this data into wisdom and enable to make uh, data informed decision making. In this journey, as you can see, uh, initially we start reporting and then some visualization and we transform into advanced visualization and then we bring predictive prescriptive uh, modeling. Uh, you can, uh, when you are looking into big data, perhaps you can see that we can't even create a hypothesis the, because we don't know that much uh, insights in the data. And that's why that I initially told the machine learning play a key role to understand hidden data patterns in a very big data set where we can't even create a hypothesis on that uh, related to this data. Now, now I, we discuss, uh, 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 we need the data uh, transformation. We need to look into certain uh, capability building and we need to talk about a little bit about strategy and there is a roadmap. The next thing we need to understand, we need to have a little bit uh, self-awareness and we need to understand what are the key critical components we need to address to enhance the maturity of this uh, data journey. In that perspective, uh, eventually you will realize uh, we need some data analytics capabilities, infrastructure, high performance computing, and we need some compliance, privacy, uh, compliance, security compliance, and then uh, some of the capabilities like advanced visualization those are like key create a key uh, uh, components which drive you uh, through this journey and enhance the uh, uh, maturity now, so far uh, we discuss a little bit about uh, what the this ai transformation sh should look like to organization how we justify based on the uh, value creation and then we told discuss about uh, the journey uh, and we discuss about uh, what are the focus area should be to enhance the this maturity of the transformation uh, now different uh, organizations uh, depending on the uh, customer service or the motivations uh, their focuses might be different uh, however we can identify mainly two aspects uh, one aspect is we need to uh, optimize our business operations. Uh, we need to uh, create more, uh, better customer experience. We need to uh, make personalized engagement with our customers. That's one aspect that what we want in the customer, customer perspective. At the same time, uh, we want to focus on some of the sustainability goals to serve the society. And that is where that corporate social responsibilities kind of uh, 
strategy, corporate strategy piece come into play. Uh, this diagram shows uh, that how Red Cross uh, work in this domain. You can see in the top uh, top layer, the left hand side, we discuss about a little bit uh, uh, customer experience, uh, business optimization, uh, and uh, enabling more personalized engagement. Uh, in the uh, in the right hand side, we little bit talk about uh, some of the sustainable development goals related to uh, climate change, war and law, some of the policies, research, where are that uh, Red Cross is mainly operating in the humanitarian perspective. Now, now uh, based on the this discussion, uh, you might see uh, that proper business transformation, there are a lot of things we need to focus. That means data science is, there's a roadmap, there is a particular strategies into, need to be considered and there are objectives. Uh, so eventually uh, everything uh, boiled down to how we form the strat business strategy aligning with this uh, transformation. Uh, this AI transformation or da digital transformation somehow need to aligning with your, uh, your, bis your business and you should be able to identify uh, goals, challenges, and transformation aligning with the uh, digital transformation or AI transformation. Now in the Red Cross perspective, uh, our main business is uh, uh, mobilizing humanity for serve humanity. We help uh, people in disaster situations and we try to mitigating the uh, risks related to uh, humans. And also we try to reduce minimizing the gaps of health and well-being. Now, they are our goals, and we also identified certain challenges like climate change create a, a big risk for human, uh, humanity, and we need to deal with that, and disasters and growing gap of the health and well-being and migrants issues because of the uh, price, different crises, political and environmental, and some of the uh, inclusion issues. And then we identify transformations. Now, even though we consider that we need to think in a very business perspective related to individual business, there are a lot of frameworks we can identify uh, that we can uh, find out what are the uh, important aspects when uh, developing uh, uh, this AI transformation uh, aligning with uh, humanity and sustainability. Now, in this uh, transformation, I am not uh, mainly, I'm not talking uh, like in detail about uh, how AI and data bring into uh, business optimization because it's quite a detailed topic in one hand and also uh, it's, it is uh, quite uh, business specific. Uh, but as a leader, let's a little bit talk about uh, the sustainability aspects of this transformation, because in that way we can a little bit uh, discuss about uh, one of the important aspects of uh, ethics and governance uh, and also corporate social responsibility. Now here uh, you can see uh, 17 sustainable development goals identified by United Nations uh, in their general assembly. Uh, it says like 79% of uh, sustainable development goals can be achieved through you can hear me right and you can see the presentation yeah, we can hear you. Yes. right okay yeah so what we uh, discussed uh, was uh, that uh, there are two aspects uh, one is uh, how ai and data science can uh, enhance the business and uh, optimize the business operations and second aspect is uh, how ai and business uh, uh, trans uh, help to sustainability and uh, social justice. Now, there are different aspects. If as a senior leader and a, and a board member, there are different aspects that we need to look into this AI transformation journey. Now, as a senior leader, if you are a senior leader, uh, you, are, you might more focus on uh, business optimization, business improvement aspects in AI transformation. But if you are a board member, 
then you have some ethical and uh, uh, corporate social responsibility to uh, build aspects when uh, driving the business now when i am talking about the sustainable development goals uh, you need to think uh, like you need to understand uh, that in in certain level in the business they want to make some social impact they want to uh, make some corporate social responsibility through the business now this piece uh, what i am now talking uh, will aligning with that aspect uh, now as i explained united nations identified 17 sustainable development goals and they need they are planning to uh, achieve this by 2030 you can see uh, the no poverty zero hunger then gender equality uh, climate action life below water life on land then partnerships uh, there are different aspects i am sure irrespective of what uh, that means what business you are in you can find uh, some kind of a sustainable development goals related to your business now in red australian red cross uh, we are more focused on uh, climate action and uh, diversity equity and inclusion uh, because they are they are the they are very important when dealing with uh, migrant issues uh, helping people in disaster natural disasters and crises that is because of that we might obviously focus on certain uh, if you are in energy uh, industry you might focus affordable and cl clean energy and you, if you are related to a marine organization then life below water and somehow uh, these sustainable development uh, goals create a framework for you to uh, do some corporate social responsibility and that is very important aspects uh, in uh, data and ai transformation in your organization with that uh, focus I want to little bit move into data science and AI ethics. Uh, why we need to discuss data science and AI ethics in this AI transformation is that uh, there are few uh, challenges that we face when uh, when transforming uh, business with AI. The one challenge is that uh, research identify uh, because of certain AI ethics and governance issues. 85% uh, of AI projects will fail uh, from until 2022 if you are not properly addressing this AI ethics. Because of that, because of the risk that AI projects can fail, it is your responsibility to look into this data science and AI ethics. Uh, at the same time, AI uh, create a lot of opportunities for humanity and it says by 2030, it will add like 16 trillion uh, dollars worth of uh, value to the economy. Now, I explained before, like by 2030, 2030 uh, we need to achieve the sustainable development goals as well. Now, it's it in in ethic, ethics perspective, while we are getting significant commercial benefits through AI, it is our responsibility that we need to serve this humanity through this sustainable development goals. The third aspect is AI create a significant risk in some domains like uh, aut automation uh, related job, uh, job loss, socioeconomic inequality and bias caused by data and some of the uh, issues like the deep fakes, uh, autonomous weapons. It create AI risks and AI ethics and governance is where that we can regulate and uh, add compliance to this uh, transformation if it is not uh, going well. Now, there are different frameworks we can see, uh, and this is one of like very popular framework, uh, which was introduced by the World Economic Forum. And you, you can see the ethic is the core of this AI transformation. And around this AI uh, ethics, you can see, uh, risks audit and governance piece and around that you can see brand strategy cybersecurity 
people culture, uh, people and culture, then technology strategy, and various aspects of the business. Now, if you are looking into data uh, uh, digital transformation or AI transformation, uh, you need it's good that you have the full spectrum, full understanding of uh, uh, this transformation requirements. In the right hand side, uh, I put uh, our seven fundamental principles because to show that uh, these are the Red, Australian Red Cross uh, core values that when we are addressing the ethics, a, any organization has their core values, fundamental values, uh, and you need to think how you can uh, use this, adapt these core values to uh, build capabilities of the people and drive this AI transformation in an ethical way. So, now, as a summary, uh, you can see even we are starting from very technical ways like talking about machine learning and uh, algorithms. Now, with this uh, AI ethics and uh, governance, when it comes to AI ethics and governance, then need to more focused on people, culture, and mission, uh, and the sustainability. Now, you can see in this three circle that I'm talking, uh, I illustrate how people, culture, and mission eventually uh, helping to achieve sustainable AI for sustainability. Now, there are two sustainability words in there. One is sustainable AI. When I mean sustainable AI, what I mean that we need to somehow make this AI transformation in a sustainable way. We need to reduce uh, uh, data biases and we need to address the compliance and uh, we should uh, avoid, avoid risk of failures, which I explained before. That's the sustainable AI means. For sustainability means that we need to somehow do uh, response, uh, corporate social responsibility through this AI, uh, that which is eventually any organization's responsibility to serve the society. Now, Australian Red Cross also, uh, have such uh, AI, AI ethics and governance framework when it come to uh, serve humanity. Uh, we uh, developed this framework uh, recently uh, by looking our business operations, the nature of the business and our service to uh, uh, community as well as our capabilities. Now we call this uh, wind turbine conceptualized model. Usually a conceptualized model is we map a certain uh, business processes to an object or system for easy understanding. Now we map our AI ethics and governance framework to a wind, wind turbine. Wind turbine. Uh, you can see that uh, in the blade, we represent the seven fundamental principles of the Red Cross and the uh, wheels have, are like community volunteers and partners who are helping to transform this uh, uh, AI to serve humanity. And we include diversity, equity, and inclusion. And also we explain how uh, Red Cross leaderships and guidance, guidance help to serve the humanity by addressing the futurists humanitarian requirements. Now, I'm sure that you can find a similar framework related to your business to address any of those sustainable development goals I explained uh, in that uh, 17 uh, UN sustainable development goals. It doesn't necessarily need to address the humanitarian objectives. Maybe you might need to look into uh, marine life. You may need to look into uh, renewable energy, uh, or you may need to look into uh, poverty and hunger uh, or uh, diversity equity perspective that it depends on your business uh, uh, objectives and uh, business operations. Now, if you remember uh, the 17 sustainable development goals, the partnerships also a key uh, aspect because partnership enable in one hand adding diversity, equity, and inclusions to our solution. Uh, and also it brings some capabilities, resources. Australian Red Cross has uh, 
multiple relationship uh, partnerships with uh, universities uh, we do some uh, research and innovations some of the uh, students programs to build their capabilities uh, and helping them to lead some future initiatives we helping students in that perspective uh, now as a industry leader in this uh, mba program you also need to think uh, what kind of partnership you can create with uh, either universities or other businesses uh, to collectively add some value uh, and serve the society now as a case study that we recently work on uh, uh, climate uh, change uh, project uh, with uh, university of sydney and uh, university of technology sydney and we present this in the uh, international federation of red cross climate change summit uh, but in this project what we did was we check uh, how earth's natural soundscape uh, get impacted by the climate change and what kind of cause and effects it create and what kind of uh, health and well-being issues that might co uh, cause uh, on uh, on certain uh, groups that love uh, in uh, environment for example first nations people in the, in our perspective uh, in the similar way uh, this is just a case study that how we uh, address certain uh, sustainable development goals and our and, and one of our key strategic requirements with the uh, ai transformation you can also think in a similar uh, case study you can contribute uh, with the data and ai transformation in the next slide i will uh, present a very uh, small pitch that unsw students created when working with the uh, australian red cross and let's listen to that uh, reflection uh, in that uh, project with unsw we uh, engage with two projects one is uh, like how to uh, uh, leverage uh, emerging uh, ai and augmented reality kind of applications to uh, support international humanitarian law uh, that certain students groups actually work on that 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 project and another project uh, another set of uh, students worked on another project uh, which addressing how uh, uh, citizen scientists projects uh, can help to uh, mitigating the risks related to first nations people uh, and climate uh, change related issues let's listen to that uh, reflection and when listening to uh, that reflection what i am expecting from you as a leader that what kind of opportunities you can create in partnerships and industry mentoring uh, and mentoring perhaps to the university students in uh, maybe in the undergraduate level and empower them and give, create them opportunities through your business uh, to uh, contribute to society. Let's listen first. Health workers and hospitals have been subject to routine targeted attacks. As a result, many organizations have removed their names and emblems from project sites and vehicles. Our project aims to improve awareness of these Red Cross buildings, work and vehicles, which may have their emblems hidden to militaries and peacekeeping coalitions. So my team has chosen to address the problem of the protective power of the Red Cross Crescent and Crystal being reduced for a number of reasons. We've chosen to solve some issues which have occurred during conflict. These include a loss of trust in the symbol due to intentional misuse by non-Red Cross personnel. Our project aims to monitor the effects of climate change on Indigenous communities regarding their health, heritage and lifestyle values in order to sustain and preserve their culture whilst also bringing awareness to climate change and the community group themselves. And um, the reason we're doing this is there is a, uh, an abundance or a lack thereof of effective monitoring solutions and what's happening is it's blurring our vision and our understanding of um, you know, how the environment is, is impacting them. So 
our team proposes the equipment of soldiers with AR eyeglasses that display virtual Red Cross, Red Crescent emblems above Red Cross facilities, workers and vehicles. Soldiers will be able to see information about the location, its proximity and potentially supplies needed, allowing them to better protect Red Cross workers. Our solution to these issues is a mobile application which anyone can download. A civilian or militant can log into the app to see map with a map with markers that indicate where Red Cross stations are around you. Official Red Cross staff will create these markers and therefore they can be relied upon. You can select a marker to reveal information and information page about the site. We expect that having information about these kinds of resources and what is available at these Red Cross locations and what is not will increase user activity in the app, allowing us to push them information about the Red Cross's mission, therefore increasing familiarity and trust with it. Our solution is to create a mobile application that allows individuals to make entries related to the specific climate change implications that they have observed, and then also to comment on the effects they believe that this implication can have on their community, their cultural heritage, and the environment around them. To promote engagement, we propose to implement a reward system. The, re the rewards will be linked to local Indigenous businesses promoting cultural awareness. Working with um, these kind of important organisations really brings um, the emphasis on um, what kind of problems we can solve today and that we really make a difference. The benefit of working with a real problem, with uh, a real mentor, um, Mahendra in, in our case, um, is like you get actual feedback and it's a lot more, um, I suppose, uh, confidence building this project has given me the opportunity to make a valuable contribution to a project that I am genuinely interested in and a project which I know has the potential to improve the lives of everyday Australians and also the world at a greater capacity. It's more personal to us than just, you know, I'm getting a preset scenario from a textbook um, like Vincent has said earlier. Um, and because it's so personal to us and because we can actually relate to it, um, it allows us to, you know, have a a more personal connection allows us to really, you know, get the creative juices flowing so we can make the best projects possible. Now, as a final slide, uh, I would like to uh, tell that AI transformation can be uh we can see uh, the good aspect but if we are not properly regulate and if we are not uh, follow the compliance and if you are not look into ai ethics uh, then there are it can create uh, great risks uh, for humanity now i explained in the previous slide uh, how deep fake uh, the data biases and also uh, some of the socioeconomic inequalities can create through AI and AI transformation. Uh, and you may know that a uh, lot of uh, uh, discussions going, uh, particularly related to International Committee of Red Cross, that uh, how to regulate and what are the compliance we need to apply on autonomous weapons. Uh, so, as a responsible leader, uh, make sure that. Uh, if you are looking into AI transformation in your business, uh, make sure that you follow uh, the ethical aspects and always choose uh, the right direction to serve the humanity and not uh, apply this in a destructive ways. Now we come to the final slide and in this uh, slide, what we are presenting here is a, like a summary that we, create uh, recently to, to a particular present uh, conference. Uh, it explained that most of the topics we discuss and let's listen to that. And after this session, we can uh, make a question and answer session if required. Artificial intelligence is the new electricity. To make AI sustainable, the focus on people, processes and outcomes are important AI could help to achieve 79% of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, 
The Red Cross Seven Fundamental Principles can enhance social diversity, equity, and inclusion in AI development. They are humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, unity, universality, and voluntary service. These two foundations can be unified to strengthen the mission driving AI for sustainability. The Red Cross innovative wind turbine conceptualized model illustrates a collaborative framework for the good governance of AI for sustainability. It drives the mission towards social justice. Its process is guided by Red Cross personnel. The front-faced multi-blade rotor represents the seven fundamental principles that address AI ethics. The wheels in the gearbox represent the diversified community, volunteers, and partners who are continually helping in this great course with skills and resources. The generator represents the data and AI capabilities that drive AI transformation. As illustrated in the model, the Red Cross IT and data governance capabilities ensure data privacy, security, and compliance. Data science and AI capabilities promote social diversity, equity, and inclusion. This includes citizen scientists, volunteer data scientists, and AI for good partnerships. The data science tools, platforms, and processes empower skilled human resources, including staff, citizen scientists, volunteers, and partners. The AI projects focus on sustainable development goals, such as climate change, First Nations peoples, vulnerable migrants, international humanitarian law, and AI for good. Ultimately, we all can drive sustainable AI for humanity and sustainability.